Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to nest the try and catch blocks and also how to read through the exception. So here in our main function, what uh, we're going to do is we're going to form a try block. So it's going to be try and then we're going to have the catch block. And here, just for the demonstration purpose, first uh, we're going to have a character type exception. So it's going to be const char star and let's say e and here we're just gonna say it's gonna be c out and we're gonna say character type you know inside this try block we're gonna nest another try and catch that's why it's gonna be the outer catch block so we're gonna say character type in outer block and let's add a arrow just to make it pretty you know and then uh, we're gonna refer to this e right and let's end this line and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build another catch so i'm gonna copy this and paste it here and we're gonna make this catch block to take all kinds of exceptions so i'm gonna add three dots and then uh, here we're gonna say an unexpected exception so it's gonna be unexpected exception in the outer block and then uh, and we can't refer to this e here all right now we have a try and cat block the next thing that we're gonna do is inside this try block we're gonna build another pair of try and cat blocks so it's gonna be try and here also we're gonna have the cat block so here in this nested or inner try block what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a character type exception so it's gonna be throw and uh, I just gonna pass a string and let's say a character exception and uh, let's end this line and then in this catch block we're gonna handle this character exception so I'm gonna copy this from this outer catch block and paste it here and also I'm gonna copy this one this see our statement and paste it here you know I don't want to type it again all right now in the inner block and it's gonna be e so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build and run this just to demonstrate that you know we can nest the try and catch blocks and uh, make sure that we don't have any error mm, okay we have added the end line here you know we can't do this because you know we are throwing an exception here right now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this program and uh, okay it says character type in the inner block and a character exception so you know now we know that you know we can nest the try and catch blocks the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is we can read through an exception so here in the inner catch block you know this inner catch block you know we have handled this character type exception the next thing that what we can do is we can throw this exception to the outer block so to do that we need to use the keyword throw and that's it so in this nested try and catch you know we are throwing the exception so so here you know this catch block is receiving a character type exception you know that exception will be thrown to the outer block that's why here you know in this outer block the first catch block you know which can handle the character type of ex exceptions is going to be called or the statements inside that block will be executed so i'm going to save this and before that uh, just write some lines to specify that you know we are throwing the exception so i'm going to use a c out and i'm going to say re-throwing the exception and let's end this line right now uh, i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this and now you guys can see character type in the inner block and a character type exception that's from this nested catch block and then it says rethrowing the exception and after that you know the character type in the outer block or a character exception so once the exception is thrown from the inner block you know that throwed exception will be handled again in the outer block and here you know this uh, first catch block is gonna match the that type of throwed exception and that's why you know the statements inside that block is executed so here if we were throwing any other type of exceptions you know respected catch block in the outer block which will be executed so here let's say we want to throw uh, a runtime error and i'm just gonna pass some string 
you know it doesn't matter what we pass so i just want to pass some garbage and if i build and run you know the unexpected exception in the outer block that's because you know we don't have defined any catch block which can handle the exception of type runtime error and that's why you know this uh, outer catch block you know it can handle all the exceptions is executed so this is how you guys can nest the try and catch blocks in c++ and also this is how you guys can rethrow the exception thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial